I want to discuss about obesity and heart problem, yeah. which a lot of people face through this problem. So the first question is like, does obesity cause heart attack? Of course, obesity, uh, obesity means it is not an appearance, okay? okay? It's a disease. Many people think that, okay, obese means, okay, some people are appearance. obese, some people are little lean, it's not like that. It's a disease, it's a multi-system. There are more than 200 diseases can be associated with the obesity. Oh my God. So obesity is a disease. Of course, one of the major problem with the obesity is cardiovascular. Okay. And from heart attack to stroke to osteoarthritis to and many, many diseases, or many joint related diseases and lung disease related diseases, many diseases can happen in obesity. Obesity, can it be treated? Yeah, obesity, you see, I will tell you, obesity is, many people think that obesity is, uh, there is no treatment for obesity. That is why they want to, they will become like that. They will, they want to live like that. True. See, when they live like that, there are a lot of, not only diseases, psychological stress and then the social uh, implications. There are many other career, many other problems that they are True. facing. Once they become uh, adulthood, then mm -hmm. they start getting one by one diseases also. It can be very effectively treated. See, first of all, you should know what is obesity. Many people think that obesity means, oh, okay, more than 120 kg is obesity. No, correct. that yes. is not correct. Is a, what is exactly, is we have to calculate the BMI. Body mass index. Mm -hmm. What is body mass index means? Weight in kilogram mm. divided by height in meter square. For example, 70 kg man mm. who is having a 70, 170 height. Okay. Height in meter is 170 centimeters. That is 1.7 meter. So 1.7 into 1.7 in square that is 1.7 into 1.7. Okay. And Weight is 70. 70 divided by 1.7 into 1.7. Mm. That will become about 25. Okay. So that is BMI. So everybody should know what is their BMI as per their weight and height. Okay. If the BMI is 25, less than 25, your normal weight. Okay. 25 to 30, you are overweight. So if you take most of the people, they are overweight. Okay. Because uh, they are more than 25. But if more than 30, that become obesity. Okay. So both obesity and overweight are dangerous. That is 100% true and uh, this is something new which even I heard about it. And uh, is, there, is there any other treatment options available for this obesity? Yeah, treatment options comes in uh, uh, various modes. The majority of them, we first, of, first of all, we have to do the lifestyle modifications. Okay. And as I told you, lifestyle modification, it will not start from the, uh, at the, uh, the age of uh, 50 or 70. Okay. But it should start with the childhood itself. You might have seen many people, they be obese in childhood only. True. And But nobody bothers. Once they become uh, 30 to 40, mm. then only they start treating them, thinking of the obesity, how to do. Then they can't reverse it very easy, is effectively because True. this lifestyle cannot be changed so easily after the age of 40, 45. Really? You have to change the childhood. And diet habits, dietary habits. Why are we eating? We are eating uh, when we get uh, hungry. hungry. But most of the time, mm. it is not because of hunger people are eating. Hungry people are eating very less. They will not be having hardly having any food only. It is a pleasure you are getting. It is a brain will have that one uh, sort of pleasure you get to okay. have while I have food. Okay. That is why we are. So we have to understand that we should eat and consciously we have to eat less. Yeah. Not only less and the selective. Many people uh, eat uh, whatever they they are very choosy about certain food. They oh, okay, this is very tasty, so they eat it. But you have to be you have to cut your carbohydrate, calorie you have to cut down, and you have to increase your protein, vitamins, minerals, and there should be uh, more of a uh, balanced <laughs> diet you have to take it. Okay. Second thing is this uh, exercise. And many people, have, exercise doesn't mean that every day morning you run. No. Mm. Exercise means it's a lifestyle again. While climbing stairs, avoid using lift, avoid using cars, use bicycle and avoid uh, taking bus. Just walk. Evening you want two kilometers walk. You can just <coughs> you reach home two kilometers, you walk. Why do you want to take a bus and go? And this is the simple a way of uh, changing your lifestyle that will reduce the uh, uh, weight mm -hmm. but you cut down how much you burned mm. you cut down the calorie also so there should be an imbalance between your 
outgoing and incoming then only you can maintain that second treatment is the surgery okay surgical there can be is a invasive surgery you can reduce the weight and most importantly now why people are important uh, talking about obesity is now obesity is now in a stage where medicine is very effective all these years last so many years decades so research is going on on obesity medications mm-hmm. it was not very effective now in last uh, of, uh, three to five years very effective medicines are available in the market mm-hmm. it is us fda approved these medicines also that is why it is uh people are all shut now people are even going to the counter and asking for obesity medication but should not do that they have to uh, get a proper prescription from the doctor then it is very effective there are uh, available <coughs> medicines are there yeah a lot of people do take obesity medicines so just wanted to know whether those medicines are safe or not yeah all medicines will have some side effects uh, without side effects no medicines can be worked uh, worked here uh, one of the most important side effect is gastrointestinal there should be some nausea intolerance and uh, indigestion and all but otherwise most of these medicines are safe okay it is studied in a large group of uh, people mm-hmm. uh, they have done trial and the trial all demonstrated that it doesn't have a major side effects especially this uh, manjaro you might have heard of these uh, people are all asking for manjaro type of injections yeah, yeah. and as well as we go that is also another injection this injections uh, these injections we take once a week and uh, it has to be maintained uh, later in a long run then this, there will be significant uh, uh, benefit will be there and side effects are there but uh, significant side effects are very less okay so by taking these medications how much weight can be reduced yeah depends on the uh, medications uh, there are certain uh, medications which can come up to 20% to 25% oh very significant reduction is there okay most of the injections can come come down to 10 to 20% mm-hmm. and uh, tablets is are less it mm-hmm. is the injections are really a substantial benefit is it is this treatment available in the form of any tablets yeah this is available in the form of tablet also but the tablet if you take that the weight reduction will be less and it's not like injections injections though it is a painful to take every mm-hmm. time injections yeah, every true. week go and though but uh, that effect is very important and another important aspect of this many people think that uh, there are two issues one is obesity can cause cardiac issues okay second one if you take this medicine whether that medicine is having a cardiac side effects okay huh, yeah so this recently a published one selective trial mm-hmm. but 17000 people they have tried try they have uh, done study medication okay and then they found that actually it is beneficial for the uh, cardiac effect okay. so 20% the reduction in the cardiovascular problems uh, those who are taking this medication okay. so this medications will help you not only to reduce the weight but to control the sugar oh. control the blood pressure reduce the heart attack and improve the cardiovascular outcome these are the benefit of these medicines so that's wonderful to hear thank you